Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we developed the custom keyword for reading the value from the web table or grid. So let me show you how you can use this inside the script. So I'm just going to make a copy of this test case. And let me call it as get value using custom keyword. So as we know that the requirement of our custom keyword is the row index column index along with the test object which has the base x path to the web table. So I'm going to just copy this one add a new test object called web table x path and here I will just keep the base x path till here okay I'm going to remove this step and here I'm going to call our custom keyword so add custom keyword which is get value from grid so the test object will be web table and let's say I want to read the value that is fourth row third column let me check okay there are three columns and I'm going to store this value inside our variable so this is our variable okay so this is how it will look inside the script mode I'm going to put a breakpoint over here as well as inside our custom keyword code and run the script in a debug mode So it has hit the debug point. I'm going to do a step over. So first it is going to get the test object using the base X path. Okay, so this is our base X path now. You can see here. This is the base X path. After that, we are going to append this xpath and as you can see here, based on the row index and the column index, it has constructed the rest of the xpath. Then do a step over. So this is our updated xpath. Now using this, I am going to create a test object and return that. So the execution is done. If you go here, so you can see in the warning that this is the value from the fourth row, third column. which is fourth row and third column. So in this manner you can use your custom keyword to get the value from the web table. That's all for this video and thanks for watching.